is raised just for subtitles? Why would I add subtitles to my channel? Could you maybe do that for free? Hello everyone and welcome back. It's been a while. Over the past few years, I've heard so many assumptions about translators and subtitlers. I think any other colleague will agree on this, but so many companies refuse to hire a translator or an interpreter because some employee can speak an acceptable English and that will do, as long as it's for free. What they don't know is that this person probably won't know that specific business terminology or won't be able to perform a simultaneous interpretation in a meeting with foreign clients. I've had potential clients refuse to subtitle their videos saying they were useless because they could speak English and that was enough for them. Some of them wanted me to deliver subtitles for a 30-minute video within two hours. That's when I realized that there are some misconceptions about this job and sometimes translators in general do not get the credit they deserve. This got me thinking, so that's why I decided to create an anonymous survey and send it to 100 people in different countries. We're talking about people aged 20, 30, 50 or more, and we're talking about YouTubers, teachers, uh, engineers, photographers, workers. As you can probably tell by my accent, I'm Italian, so that's why I created two separate surveys, one in English and the other one in Italian. I just wanted to quickly point that out because you're gonna see two different graphics and also because that's gonna make a difference in a couple of cases. So let's move on to the eight questions. A good translation should be faithful to the original text, adapt to the target audience and culture, be word by word. I'm so glad nobody picked the third option because generally speaking, we tend to avoid a word by word translation. For those of you who replied, be faithful to the original text or adapt to the target audience, there was no wrong answer. Of course, you cannot change the style of the text and overturn it, but you have to adapt to the target audience who will either read that book or watch that TV show. For example, if a Canadian TV show makes a joke about some traditional food or some Canadian politician that isn't really known worldwide, then the translators will have to find a similar joke to make the audience laugh. And if that's not possible, they will have to find a solution to make that work. Question number two. Do you think that having a great knowledge of the language is enough to be a translator? Yes or no? Well, it is essential to have a great knowledge of the language, but that is not enough. In order to be a translator, you have to attend a certain university, specialize in a certain field, for example, the legal translation, literary translation or audiovisual translation, and so on. You have to know the culture of a certain country. Speaking a language does not make you a translator. So every time a company refuses to hire a professional and replies, my cousin speaks French, he can do it, a translator cries. <laughs> Which leads us to question number three. A native English speaker who also speaks Italian could translate documents from English to Italian? Absolutely no, I'm not sure. Lots of people do it and the translation might turn out to be okay, but again, let translators do their job. And most of all, you have to translate to your native language. So for example, if you're a native English speaker, you will have to translate from Italian to English and not the other way around because the English language and the English culture are what you know best. Do you ever use subtitles? No, yes in the original language, yes in my language, for example, Spanish for an English movie. Well, first, I'm so glad so many of you use subtitles. <laughs> As you can see, there's a bit of a difference between these graphics. Some Italian people replied no because they are used to watch dubbed products. So basically, that's part of the Italian culture. We have amazing actors, amazing dubbing voices, but that means that less people will watch content in the original language. That also depends on your age, because nowadays, thanks to the mainstream platforms, lots of young people started to watch content in the original language, to learn it better and they use subtitles as a form of support. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 5, how helpful are subtitles to you? 
Subtitles are a great form of support, especially when you watch a video in another language. But most of all, it's a great way to promote accessibility and inclusion, and I will never get tired of saying that. What would it be like for deaf people to have no subtitles on any platform? I'm challenging you to watch a video from your favorite YouTuber or a TV show episode, the one that you were looking forward to, with no sound and no subtitles. How does it feel? Do you think that an incorrect synchronization of these subtitles would bother you while watching a movie? We all agree on that. Unsynchronized subtitles drive me crazy. And to avoid that, us subtitlers have to work on the time coding, which takes time. And this leads me to the last two questions. Did you know that subtitling requires a specific software and working on sound waves? I didn't know that. Yes, I thought so. In order to get a perfect synchronization of subtitles and videos, we need to work on the sound waves, follow some specific rules, and also respect the rhythm of the dialogues. Well, half of the people didn't know that. I quickly talked about that in my previous video, so if you haven't, go back and watch it. This is why it takes time to subtitle a video, and it's not something that can be done in a heartbeat. Not if you wish to do a good job. Now the last question, my favorite one. How long do you think it usually takes to subtitle a 10 minute video? Less than 15 minutes, 15 to 30 minutes, 30 to 60 minutes, over an hour. Okay, so it depends on how much talking the video has, how fast you are, and if it's a translation or not. But before commenting the results, let's make a test. I am going to create English subtitles for a 10 minutes English video, so it's basically a transcription, and I'll see you when I'm done. As you can see, I opened the project at 5.40. I then started to type all the dialogues and synchronize every single subtitle to the video. I always work on the sound waves to get a better result. Bear in mind that this video had lots of talking, which means it's gonna take longer to subtitle. Once I'm done, I always watch the video all over again to correct any typos, but in this case I just wanted to show you how long it took me only to create the subtitles. And that's it, there was over an hour for a 10 minute video. So guys, that's it. I hope I could answer your questions and that you learned something new. Please subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any upcoming videos and also to support my project. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you soon.